Hey guys, it's Ashley. I apologize for the front camera treatment today, but I sat down to edit this original video and I absolutely hated every second of it. Rather than drag my camera and all the lights back out to refilm it, I'm just gonna do it this way. And although the technical quality might be a little bit less, the content will be much better than that original video. So today I'm talking about my goals for 2016, specifically my bookish goals, not just like all of my goals because we'd be here all day for that. But my bookish and reading and booktube goals for 2016. I don't have a whole lot, but I do have a couple of I think they're pretty good ones, so let's just get right into it, okay? We're gonna start with my reading goals. My first one is to read a total of 75 books for the year 2016. This is absolutely doable for me. In 2015, I read a total of 70 books, and my second goal on this list is going to help me reach those 75 books because I will reach exactly half if I complete this challenge. So my second goal is to read all the works of Roald Dahl, all of his novels, children's books, and short stories. I did a video on this the other day, so I will leave all the links around for you. I've created some printables and things to help me on the way, and it's something that I'm really excited about. We are day six in the new year and I have already read three books that count towards that. Granted they were like the three shortest books on the list but that's okay. That's okay. We had to start somewhere. My third goal for the year is related to Owl Crate. I just recently subscribed to it. My mom started the subscription for me for Christmas and then I'm taking over payments and I'm so excited about it. I got my first box in December and I have an unboxing video coming for you soon. I just need to edit it. But my goal with this is to read the book that comes in the Owl Crate before the next one arrives. That gives me an entire month to read one book and I think that is absolutely doable. So I'm going to try really hard to do that. This leads right into my fourth goal for the year that is to buy less books now notice I didn't say to not buy any books because that is impossible that's just crazy talk but so far we're six days into the new year and I've only bought one book I didn't even buy it yet it's pre-ordered for February that's pretty impressive I just noticed that I keep buying books and buying books and buying books even if they sound the slightest bit interesting and then they sit on my shelf for like forever and they just don't get read so I want to read more of the books that are on my shelf this year and buy fewer of those impulse just because purchases I'm still going to buy books but I want to limit the whole going into a used bookstore and coming out with a giant stack of books that's what I'm trying to limit because there's just so many books on my shelves that I haven't read and I'm okay with that I like having books on my shelf that I haven't read yet I like knowing that I can go and have several options for a new adventure or a new input or new insight or whatever. I'm not going to do like the zero count TBR or anything like that. I don't have that kind of goal. I just want to be mindful of the books that I'm buying, which leads nicely into my first goal for this channel. That is to do fewer book hauls. Now I know book hauls are among the most popular videos on booktube. They get like a bajillion views, but I just feel like as a creator and as a viewer, they're getting repetitive because you can't really say much about the book when you haul it because you haven't actually read it. So you're just like, oh, this one sounds good or I'm so excited, this is my favorite author, I can't wait to read it. And then they just sit on my shelf unread for like forever. And I'm tired of that. I went through earlier today and looked at all of the book hauls that I've posted on this channel since I started in June. I've hauled 117 books on this channel. Of those 117, I only read 22 of them. Granted, 25 or so came into my possession in the past month, but still, that is a really large percentage of unread books. In fact, I typed it into Google. I'm not gonna say I did the math because I didn't. I, I typed it into Google and found out that that is 18.8% of the books that have come into my possession since June that I have actually read. And I'm tired of that. So you will still get a couple of book hauls throughout the year. I might do a quarterly book haul or something, but I just don't enjoy those as much as other videos. So unless there's something special about it, I'm not gonna be doing them anymore. My second goal for this channel is to do more reviews review videos. This is kind of the flip side of the other one. Review videos tend to have the least number of views on booktube, but they're one of my favorite videos to shoot because I just sit down and I talk about books. Then I get to have you guys interact with me and talk back and I love that. That is one of my favorite things about booktube is just getting to review and talk about books. And so I'm going to do that more often. I want to try and review every book that I read this year, which is a big feat, but I'm going to try. And if I manage to actually do it or if I manage to even review half or three quarters of the books that I read, then it's going to be 
something fun for me. I hope it's something fun for you, but it's also going to improve my editing skills and my speaking skills and all of those great things that make my videos even better. There's two exceptions to this that I already foresee. The first is with Roald Dahl books. Most of his books are children's books or short story collections, so I'm not going to be reviewing them. I may with some of his adult literature, but with the children's books and the short story collections, I'm not going to give them a proper review. I will, however, be doing monthly updates on my year of Dahl where I'll give you little reviews on each book that I read that month. So it's not totally reviewless. The other exception to this rule is with the short little love inspired romance novels that I read on occasion. They're pretty much all the same thing. So I'm not going to review those unless they're like outstanding. My third goal for this channel is to put out more creative and original content. I'm not one that's going to be doing a whole bunch of skits or something like that on my channel, but I want to have more creative discussions and rants or whatever I can come up with. Maybe some tags, maybe some games. I don't really know. Just something a little more interesting to mix things up a bit. That leads right into my fourth goal for this channel and that is to continue with my build your own readathon that I had started last year. In July there were a lot of readathons happening and I was really jealous that I didn't have the time to participate in any of them just because of the way my life was at that point point. and so I invented my own readathon and I did it in August. You are welcome to take part in it. It's the build your own readathon. The way it works is you choose the days, you choose the challenges, and you choose the video challenges that go along with it if you want to do the video challenges. I had a lot of fun with it. I'll leave a link to all the bio rat videos if you're interested. I'm going to personally do a second round of it in February and then for August of 2016 I will have all new challenges and content for the next year of bio rat. I just think it's a really fun concept and it's a way to do a readathon, have some community support without having to do one of the big readathons. And then my final goal is really more of a wish and a hope and that is to do some more collabs and maybe meet some of you guys. Some of my favorite videos that I've posted this year were the ones that I shot with other people. The one I shot with my brother on Harry Potter and the one we did at Christmas time with my whole family. That was a lot of fun. I would love to just have that experience of making videos with other people, whether it's my family or my friends or my virtual friends who could turn into real life friends like you guys. I just think that would be really fun. So along with that, I will be going to at least one book event this year. I don't have my tickets booked quite yet, but I am planning to go to BEA and BookCon and I am hoping to make it to Y'all Fest later in the year. Not not y'all west because that's just more expensive to get to since I live the complete opposite corner of the country. But yeah, BEA, BookCon, Y'all Fest, if you're going to be there, let me know down below. Maybe we can meet up or if you're thinking about going. I know it's definitely too early for all of those to have any set plans. So I'm really excited about what this year holds. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think it's going to be a good year for reading and just for things in general. I have high hopes for 2016. So let me know down below if you share any of my goals or let me know what your bookish goals are for the year. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you've enjoyed this quick little video. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you soon. Bye.